Hi, I'm David Wilson, and I am a graduate from Agricultural and Biological Engineering. I graduated in May of 2013, and I'm from Lafayette, Indiana. I started off really not knowing a whole lot of hands-on things about vehicles or anything like that. In ABE, there's a, a lot of patience for the professors, I think. He patiently taught us, and um, we, I developed a lot of skills from that. Um, he lets us make mistakes, and that was one big thing, is he may have a better idea what to do, um, but part of what the program is not just the results, it's not the only goal, but for students to learn. And so we had a lot of opportunity for that. And sometimes the best way to learn is through making those mistakes. During my undergrad, I was heavily involved in several different things. One was the uh, Purdue Utility Project for countries such as uh, Cameroon, particularly our work is in Sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, these vehicles are designed to uh, carry up to 2,000 pounds. Um, they can travel on off-road off conditions, poor roads. The goal of our project is to uh, come up with a design that can be manufactured in Cameroon. So we work with a local organization there, and their goal is to manufacture these on a small scale. So we are helping with the design, we're helping with the Im implementation, um, but that'll provide local employment for them. Uh, future opportunities, you know, transportation that they need and the community needs. So every year we've, the team has traveled for the past uh, five years or so, traveled to Cameroon, worked with a partner organization, and four out of the five years we've built a vehicle uh, on site. The first year I went, we had a vehicle designed that had no front suspension. Well, we learned very quickly that on those roads, that's very uncomfortable. So from our own experience, we knew that we wanted you know, front suspension. So that changed our design and affected how we did things. Manufacturing as well. So all the equipment that we use to build them there is exactly what they're going to use to build them there. So you got a grinder, a drill, um, a welder, and that's about all the power tools you have. You, know, you don't have a full out machine shop. So a lot of the work you're going to be doing is by hand. So minimizing that labor, minim minimizing the cuts that need to be made, all that plays into the design of the vehicle. So Purdue works pretty hard uh, to make sure that their students are aware of international things and to get them to study abroad, get them on these global design teams uh, to participate in international projects. For me, that was, a, that was a, a big big thing for me. I think that made a lot of difference in my choice of what I'm going to do after uh, my grad undergraduate program. Grad school was an opportunity that would, you know, boost my um, value to an employer later. Um, I wanted to work internationally and this was one way that I could start, um, get a foot into uh, kind of food security, international development, and kind of pursue my interests deeper. I would say lastly, just as a piece of advice, is wherever you end up going, especially if you come here to Purdue, get involved. You know, there's, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of projects you can, you can get involved in. Start early, don't wait. Um, and that's gonna make a big difference and while you're here at Purdue and probably after too.